Philosophy in general is the belief in rationality based on the following pillars. First, the possibility to define the reality by rational concepts. Then, the possibility to rationally communicate matters of facts, propositions about matters of facts, propositions about propositions, etc. Here we could go on forever. And this theoretical core of philosophy can further underlie the base of practical philosophy. For instance, ethics and moral philosophy. Namely that rational propositions corresponding to rational facts form the right implication for the right as such. In other words, that practice is to be based on rationality. The obvious question here is though whether this kind of propositions are to be regarded as rational. If not, rational philosophy cannot rationally claim to have any rational privileges compared with other source of normativity both in terms of theory and practice. And if we go deeper into this, we can see that the dogmas of philosophy rely on the following positions. First, the possibility to define rational concepts, ensuring objectivity, universe, universality and unambiguity. Further, on the possibility to quantify quality, that is, when the meaning is deciding the sense of something. In turn, these conditions, like all further philosophical and other rational statements, such as, for example, scientific propositions, are ultimately based on a fundamental conception that we will call the idea of separation and identity. And philosophy, like any other rational activity, requires conceptual elements as elementary building blocks for its propositions. And when defining a conceptual element, no matter which kind, this element as such is thereby simultaneously being separated from the rest of the conceptuality. Separation cannot be separated from identity and vice versa. Since when identifies something as such, the subject of identification will at the same time be distinguished from all of the other. Accordingly, it turns out that identification and separation are identified as inseparable sides of the same coin, which indeed do contradict their rational source, the very idea of rationality. The continuous strength of this paradoxical fundamental idea of rationalism is only valid due to the fact that is unknown, or in other words, that it has not been discovered, or we can even say identified, by philosophers. Even though Hegel, among other philosophers, in point of fact, identified the interdependence of difference and identity. But no one has until now made any radical metaphilosophical conclusions out of this. And the fact that the most fundamental position of rationality has, if not irrational, then at least transrational roots constitutes the very core of the self-contradiction of rationalism that we will continue to investigate further in our following journey.